Hey there, I'm back with Immortal Triumph from Virgin Mobile. I'm going to talk to you about the app called N64oid, and it's pretty much like an old school N64 for your phone, and it works awesome. Alright, first thing you got to do is download Astro File Manager from the Marketplace, so just type in Astro, right there, it's spelled out for you. And also Opera Mobile from the Marketplace, just type in Opera and download that. Alright, and they're both for free. Okay, so let's open up Opera, and go to Google on Opera and type that in right there. N64oid ROMs. And it'll be the first link. N64oid plus compatible ROMs. Right there. Okay. And I should take you to this page right here. What you guys want to do is download the latest version of N64oid, version 1.14. Okay? So just download that and you can install it just like any other app. It won't even go to Astro File Manager or anything like that. It won't be weird or anything like that. Just download it, install, bam, you're done. And once you got that done, it'll go to this app right here. It should look like this. So find that and drag it out somewhere. And that's just like a console. So what you need right now is games for it. And they're called ROMs. So what you can do is download anything you want. There's like 50 games on this page. That's why I like this website. And I've got Super Smash, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I'm just going to show you guys how it is. So it's pretty easy. You just click on the link, and I already got it open for you. It's Mega Upload, so it takes like a minute for you guys to download it regularly, or else you have to pay premium, so you want to do that. Free stuff is good. It's always awesome. Just regular download. Click it. Click it. Click it. Sorry about that. Save. And it's going to be really fast. Alright, I skipped it. It was only like 30 seconds, but I just wanted to save you guys time. So, And you don't want to open that. So after you do that, just click Dismiss. And go to n 64 oid And it's right there. Super Mario 64. I'm not going to open that up because it's going to go through the entire story. But I'm going to open up Legend of Ocarina. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Just because I've already played some of it, and you guys can see how it works. You don't have to watch the story or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. It's going to start from the beginning, so what you got to do is save games pretty easily. Right there to save any point in the game. It doesn't matter, there's no save points or anything, just any point in the game. And load. So you want to load. Okay. And it's got the controls and stuff on the screen for you. And it works pretty well. There, There's some lag, but not too bad, uh, that's not too bad. So, there you go. See right there, there's just a little bit of lag. I mean, it's definitely playable, it's awesome. Everything works. Uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to show you guys something cool in this, though. Let's just close out of here. Okay, I think the screen is way too small, so I'm going to hook up my Wii controller to it. What you got to do for that is go to the marketplace and download Wii Mo Control. There's several of them, so I'm going to show you guys which one's the right one. This one right here, Wii Mo Controller by that guy right there. And it's for free, so download that. And what you got to do is turn on Bluetooth. Go to Wiimote, open it up, and you gotta sync your controller to it. So one, two, and it should start blinking like that. Once you do that, go to initiate and connect. It should take a couple seconds, and it should realize it. Right there, I found it. So once you got that going, go to anything that you can type in. So I'm gonna go to Google right here. Hold it for a second. Input method. Go to Wii controller. Okay. Okay. And then go back to S64oid. Any game you want. And then from there, you gotta go to settings. Try to make
make this fast for you guys. Input settings, erase the virtual keyboard, and go to key mappings. Alright, and then you can do whatever you want. So analog left, you would obviously go analog, click that, analog to the left, and it does it for you, it recognizes it. I already did all of mine, so do that. And you also gotta go to other settings and check that right there. Use input method. Then you can go back. I'm obviously not touching the screen right now, so and you can control it. Okay. Alright, and everything works perfectly. So that's how you do it guys. N sixty four on your control on your phone. Alrighty, see ya.